In this video, we're going to add air resistance into our equation. We will not solve or analyze the resulting differential equation. Our goal for now will simply be to write the equation down. We are looking at Newton's second law, which is frequently stated, force equals mass times acceleration. We who have taken calculus know that the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. And now let's look at this force term. When we were neglecting air resistance, we only had a gravitational force. Now that we are not neglecting air resistance, we have a force due to that, and force is additive. We put them together using addition. Force due to gravity is unchanged. When we were neglecting air resistance. It was negative gm. Now that we are not neglecting air resistance, it's still positive, sorry, negative gm. Force due to air resistance is a heck of a lot more complex complicated, and there's no one-size-fits-all thing we can write here. As long as the object isn't moving too quickly, we frequently assume that force due to air resistance is proportional to the velocity. If the object is moving particularly fast, we might have some power up here, but for relatively slow movement, this is what we will use. Except when we write it down, we're going to include a negative sign. And why is that? Well, force due to air resistance is always opposing the movement of the object. So if the object is going up, this force should be pushing it down. If the object is going down, this force should be pushing it up. What that means is that if the velocity is positive, the force due to air resistance should be negative. K is a positive constant, so we have that. If velocity is positive, this force is negative. Likewise, if the velocity is negative, this opposing force should be positive. And we have that as well. If V is negative, then a negative KV is positive. 
So this negative sign will ensure that the force is going in the right direction. And this equality becomes M times dv dt equals negative gm minus kv. Divide both sides by m and the derivative of the velocity with respect to time is negative g minus k over m times v. Now, assuming that the object isn't changing its shape, so like assuming you're not deploying a parachute, and assuming that the object's mass is constant, k divided by m is just a constant. So let's rewrite this one final time. We'll use the Greek letter rho for this constant called the drag coefficient. There's the differential equation, and we can analyze it a few different ways. This differential equation is autonomous, so we can look at fixed points. It's also separable, so we can solve it. Over the course of this unit, we will do both those things.